North Korea is holding its first session of the 13th Supreme People's Assembly on this Wednesday. The meeting, which is equivalent to a parliamentary session, will give the world a better idea of the changes in the regime's policies and power structure. At Young News' Hwang Xiang Yi reports. The opening meeting of North Korea's 13th Supreme People's Assembly session got underway in Pyongyang on Wednesday. It marks the first session of the rubber stamp parliament elected under Kim Jong-un's leadership. The main agenda items include representing the young Kim as the regime's one and only leader, appointing officials for government posts and deliberating on this year's budget plan. The first session of the country's highest legislative body is an occasion to find out who's in and who's out of North Korea's ruling circle, and speculation is that a major reshuffle could be in the works. Sources say Prime Minister Park Bong-ju, the country's economic policymaker, could be sacked to take responsibility for failed economic reform plans. 86-year-old Kim Young-nam, the chair of North Korea's presidium of the Supreme People's Assembly, may step down after 15 years in office. Possible successors to the positions include Kim Young-gun, the head of the Workers' Party's United Front Department in charge of inter-Korean matters, and Vice Premier Kang seok ju The meeting comes as North Korea has been raising tensions on the Korean Peninsula with a series of missile launches, artillery shellings and threats to conduct another nuclear test. All eyes are on what kind of a message the regime will send to South Korea and the United States. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.